across and today I'm going to show you how to calculate size in right angle triangles. So before we have a go at these examples, I just want to draw your attention to over here. Soccer toa is just a way we remember when we're using sine, cos or tan. So S stands for sine, C stands for cos and T stands for tan. And then O, A and H, well they just stand for the sides in the triangle. So O is opposite, H is hypotenuse and A is adjacent. So when we're labelling the triangle, the right angle triangle, the hypotenuse, which is H, is always found opposite the right angle. So the right angle is the 90 degrees, so opposite there is always the hypotenuse, the longest side. The other two, opposite and adjacent, well, this one is O for opposite because it's opposite the angle given in the question. So if you're given this angle here, that side would be labelled as the opposite side. And this one here, we call adjacent. It means next to the angle. I think another way, an easier way of remembering this one is to call it against because it's against the angle X, it's touching the angle X. So it's really important that you label your triangles correctly at the beginning of the question so that you choose sine, cos or tan correctly as well. So let's look at the first question, this one here. So I've got to work out this length here in the triangle. So when we're labelling the sides, we only label two sides, the one we know and the one we want to know. Okay, because then we know which one we're going to choose from here, sine, cos or tan. So remember I said the hypotenuse is the one that's opposite the right angle. So it's that one there. And this one, well this side here, it's opposite the angle 26. So I'm going to label that one as O for the word opposite. So when we're looking at Sokka Toa, we need to choose the one that uses opposite and hypotenuse. Well, it's the first one. Okay, this one is opposite and hypotenuse, which means we're going to be using sine in the first triangle. So, you need to write out sine, and then you put that with the angle. So in this one, it's 26. So it's sine 26, and it's equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So the opposite is the numerator, and the hypotenuse is the denominator. So the opposite in this one, we don't know. So I'm just going to leave it as O. But the hypotenuse, we do know, it's 10 centimetres. So I can replace the letter H with the number 10. So remember what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the side that's opposite. So we're trying to work out O, the numerator in this fraction. So we're just solving a simple equation. If O is being divided by 10, the opposite is to multiply by 10. So you multiply by 10, remember to do the same thing on both sides of the equation. On the right hand side, well they just cancel and you get 1, so we're left with 1 O. And on the left hand side, well you must put that in the calculator. So you would type in 10 sine, um, 10 sine 26, because if you put them next to each other, it means they're being multiplied. So if you type that in, that will give you the length of that opposite side. So the answer is 4.3837 and so on. And I'm going to round these sides to three significant figures. So for the first one, it would be 4.83. Not forgetting the units in this question, it's centimetres for this one. So there's the answer to the first question. Okay, onto this one down here. So just as before, the first step is to label the two sides, the one we know and the one we want to know. So this one is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. So I can label that one as H. And this one, well, it's against the angle 37. It's touching, it's next to the 37. So that is the adjacent. So this time we're using adjacent and hypotenuse. So it must be this one here. And remember, C stands for cos. So this time we write cos and then the angle, which is 37 degrees. And because it's A followed by H, we have to do adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So the adjacent, we don't know yet. So I just leave that as A. But the hypotenuse, we do know, it's 9. 
so I can write 9 instead of h. So we're solving this equation again. a is currently being divided by 9, so we have to do the reverse. So I'm going to multiply by 9 on both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. On the right hand side where we do the opposite, well that always just cancels. And then on, then on the left hand side we have to calculate this. So you'll put in your calculator 9 cos 37. Remember when they're next to each other it means they're being multiplied. Okay, so put that in. Don't worry about the degrees, just write 9 cos 37. And this time, if I round to three significant figures, I get 7.19. And it's centimetres again in this question. So there's the second answer. Okay, now the top right one up here. Remember step one, label the two sides, the one that's given and the one that you want to find out. So this time we've got this side which is opposite the angle 41 and this one is against the angle 41 so that's adjacent and that's the hypotenuse but we don't need to label that one because we don't know what it is and we don't want to know what it is so we're using opposite and adjacent so this one is opposite and adjacent so we're using tan this t stands for tan so we write out tan and this is always followed by the angle, so this time we've got 41 degrees. And we're doing O divided by A. So O is the numerator and A is the denominator. So O we don't know, so that just stays as O. But A is 8, so I can replace A with that number 8. So remember, we're trying to calculate O, but O is being divided by 8, so the opposite is to multiply. So you multiply both sides of the equation by the number 8. On the right hand side where you do the opposite, it just cancels and we're left with O. So on the left hand side you can calculate. So you put 8 tan 41 into your calculator and the answer is, so this is O and it's 6.95 if I round to three, if I round to three significant figures. So there we go, and again it's centimetres for that one. Now, this one down here, so it's about to change, so make sure you're listening carefully. The first step is exactly the same, label your two sides. So this one is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. And this one is against the angle 43, it's touching angle 43, so that is adjacent. So we're looking for the one with adjacent and hypotenuse, so it's this one again. So C is for cos. So you write down cos followed by the angle, just like before. And we're doing A divided by H. So A, we know, is 4, so I can write 4 as the numerator. And H we don't know, so that just stays as it, as it is, okay? Now, in all of the examples so far, we're timesing by the denominator, okay, to get rid of the fraction. And I have to do the same thing here, except the denominator, it happens to be a letter. But that's fine, it just means we're going to have an extra step in this calculation. So I'm timesing by the denominator, which is H for hypotenuse. On the right hand side, remember, it always cancels where you do the opposite. And on the left hand side, well I can't put it, this in the calculator yet, because I've got a letter here that I don't know. And on the right hand side I'm left with 4. So the next step is to get rid of this cos 43. Well, H is being multiplied with cos 43 and we have to do the opposite if we want to solve this equation. So the opposite of multiplying by cos 43 is to divide. So remember to do the same thing on both sides of the equation. On the left hand side, well, cos 43 divided by cos 43 is just 1. Remember, whenever you divide something by itself, you get 1. So we're left with 1h, which is the hypotenuse that we're trying to find. And on the right hand side, well, we have to calculate this. So you just put in the calculator 4 divided by, or you can do the fraction button, cos 43. Just remember on your calculator, 
If you use the fraction button to close those brackets after the 43, otherwise you'll get an error. So put that in the calculator, either with the fraction button or with divide. And what do we get? We get, if I'm rounding to three significant figures, 5.47. And this time the units are in metres. Okay, so there we go. So notice how when you don't know the numerator, you just multiply and you find the answer straight away. But in this one, we don't know the denominator. So there are two steps. We have to multiply by that denominator and then divide by the cos part. Okay? And remember you're doing 4 divided by cos 43, not the other way around. Make sure you get the order correct. The cos part is always the denominator, okay, with the number on top. Or, if you like, if you just want to remember it the quick way, when you don't know the one underneath, these two just swap places. So the h goes here, where the cos 43 used to be, and the cos 43 goes where the h used to be. So they swap places. So that's just a quick way of remembering how to do it when you don't know the denominator. Okay, I've got a couple more examples to finish. Okay, so in these last two examples, I'm going to start exactly the same way and I need to label the two sides, the one I know and the one I want to know. So this one is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle and this side up here, well it's opposite the angle 62, so this one is O for opposite. So the one that uses opposite and hypotenuse is this one, so sine. So you must write down sine followed by the angle, which is 62. Don't forget your equals. And we're doing opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite divided by hypotenuse. So the opposite we know is 5, so that's the numerator. And the denominator, which is the hypotenuse, the one we don't know, so I just leave that as h. So we're trying to solve the equation. I need to get rid of this fraction. So to get rid of the fraction, we always multiply by the denominator. So to multiply by the denominator means we times by h on both sides of the equation. On the right-hand side, where we do the opposite, it just cancels and we're left with 5. And on the left-hand side, well, I've now got h sine 62 equals 5. So we can't put that in the calculator because we don't know the hypotenuse. So we've got one more step. We need to get rid of that sine 62. Remember these are being multiplied together, so the opposite is to divide. So we're dividing by sine 62 on both sides. On the left-hand side, where you divide by itself, we just get 1, so we're left with 1h. And on the right-hand side, will you just put it in the calculator? So we're doing 5 divided by sine 62. And remember to divide the right way round. It's 5 divided by sine 62, not the other way round. And if you're using the fraction button instead of the divide, just remember to close those brackets around that angle 62. So now you can put it in the calculator. So if I round to three significant figures, I get 5.66 and the units are centimetres in this question. So there we go. But if you like a little trick to remember this more easily, just remember, like before, if you don't know the denominator, these just switch places. So to work out the hypotenuse, you're just doing 5 divided by the sine 62. Okay, but if you like to show all you're working out, and I do think it's great if you show all you're working out, you can do it like that. Okay, the last one. So again, label the two sides. So this one over here is opposite the angle 59, and this one is against the angle 59, so this is the adjacent. So if we're using opposite and adjacent, it's this one, so we're using tan. So you must write down tan followed by the angle, which is 59, equals opposite divided by adjacent. So opposite is 11. Adjacent is the one we don't know, so we just leave that as A. And then if we want to just use that little trick here, 
Remember, when you don't know the denominator, these just switch places. So we have a equals 11 over tan 59. And then you can put that in the calculator. Don't forget, if you're using the fraction button, so just close those brackets. So we have, if I round to three significant figures, 6.61. And this time the units are in millimetres. Okay, so there we go. So I don't know if you noticed, but earlier when we had to do the divide at the end, and here when we're doing the divide, we were finding the hypotenuse. Whenever you're finding the hypotenuse, it's always the two-step in the solving of the equation. So you have to divide. So always for finding the hypotenuse, you're doing a division. And then there's an extra one where you're using tan, which is also division. So it's quite difficult to remember when you're using tan and finding adjacent is also divide. So just remember when you're finding the denominator, you have to divide. And when you're finding the numerator, it's like those examples at the beginning of the video, and you just do the one step multiply. Okay, so I hope that's clear. I do have another video on finding angles in right angle triangles, so check that out. But that's all from me for today, so goodbye.